Move on over to some high school baseball. Area teams playing for regional championships. Pleasant Plains looking for their second straight title. Top of three, Stephen McCready at the plate. He knocks it to short, and Ever Eckerson crosses the plate. The Trojans take a 2-1 lead. Bottom of the third, Alex Edwards hits one. Deep left field, Tristan Weaver can't grab it. And that scores two runs. Pleasant Plains would move on to the sectionals. They win 10 to four. Continuing with regional action, Williamsville and Warrensburg Latham, top of the fifth. Nick Newton swings, misses. The throw to second, is he tagged? No, he's ruled safe. And that would just be one of the many controversial calls on the day. Bottom of the seventh, Dan Dyken hit by the pitch. That brings in the walk off run. Bullets win their third straight regional championship. It's an amazing feeling. I mean, we worked our butts off the whole year to get this. And I can't wish anything better for the team. There were some different things going on today where umpires really had to, to make some different calls, you know, like some awkward slides and like, was did he get, you know, was he tagged or was he not tagged? Uh, but, you know, overall, I thought umpires did a pretty good job. And I think in the end, the kids decided the game. How about softball? Unity and SJO for 2A regional title. Type of seven. Gracie Shugart hits it deep. That's a grand slam, and it's all tied up at five. Bottom of the half inning, Andrea Kiersey lays down the squeeze. Allison Rose scores. Spartans win six to five in walk-off fashion. They win regional championship. I think the early innings we were a little nervous. I'll tell you what, it tightened us up a little bit when they hit that grand slam to tie it up. We had a nice, comfortable lead, then we walk about or hit about it, and they get a grand slam. It put us back on our heels a little bit, but we came back. You know, and the girls were confident that we could get a run. We had three, four, five up, so we felt pretty good. And how about Monticello against Mora for 2A regional title? Bottom sixth, bases. Megan Maskman drops down the bunt. The run crosses the plate. Sage goes up 2-0. Now it's 2-1, top of the seventh, tying run at second. Sophie Caitlin says no. They get the strikeout. Monticello wins the regional championship 2-1. to one.